this is May again. And we are here at Lake Havasu. Check this place out. Beautiful, isn't it? We actually woke up at 6 a.m. to drive from where we were sleeping because we can't park here and sleep. Uh, just so that when the sun came up, we can have this beautiful view. For a while, I sit here and work, coach, and change the world from this little van seat. Anyway, today I wanted to share with you three hacks that I have figured out so that we can optimize our van life experience. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it because living in a small space, you always have to optimize your space and you have to, um, oh, you're constantly tweaking and figuring things out. So here they are. I'm going to hand this over to Keith so that he can hold the camera for me and I can be free to talk with my hands even. There you go. Okay, the first hack is saving water and doing dishes. It, when you are at home doing dishes, you know, your water is running and you're soaping and you got a bucket of soap, and but you can't do that because we only have 30 gallons in this van and we want to last as long as possible. So, so every drop counts. <laughs> so I figured out a way to to shorten the step of doing dishes because you know how you have to rinse the dishes and then you have to fill up the bowl and soap it and then suds it and then washing why so much work when you can just mix up your soap water in here and when you're ready to do dishes you just spray and you take your sponge and you just scrub and that minimizes that whole entire rinsing dishes and all that stuff. So it works like a charm and we don't have to have a dish soap sitting around and all this stuff. This just does it. I love that little hack. The second hack is trash and where to put the trash and, and how to minimize the trash. There, <laughs> when you live in a small space like this, there are different odors that is very, very, uh, it hits your nose right away if you don't manage it. So there's the toilet, the bathroom smell from just your paper trash, um, <laughs> oh, your, your poop trash, and, and just regular everyday living trash. And then when you cook, the food trash ha has its smell. Uh, so. So I've been like figuring out how to manage trash. Actually, you know, I, I should do a whole, a whole episode on just managing trash. But for now, just dealing with the smell. So I have here a bag of trash for our food waste to separate it out from plastic and paper and all that stuff. And since it's in the cabin, just one day and you, we can smell the smell. And I've been walking around going, how do I minimize, how do I minimize the, um, the smell? And lo and behold, I'm like, oh, if I, I was like, if there's a way to close the lid, if there's a way to close the lid, and I was thinking of complicated ways to fix it. And then just a couple of days ago, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I have this thing very handy dandy, super cheap <laughs> and easy peasy, right? So all I have to do is just clip that and that closes it and it keeps the smells inside. I'm so excited. So I do this for this trash out here and I do it for the trash in the bathroom. That's hack number two, easy peasy hack. Last but not least, I love, uh, the other thing that we have to save is energy on our, on our battery. We are very luxurious in this van. I love this van because we can have a cooktop, we can have a microwave, we can have a big old fridge, we can have a jet television, and I can cook on an instant pot. We have eight, eight, count them, eight big ass AGM batteries in this rig to allow us to do, to function like that. And, and we, they go far but not that far. So managing this whole power, we don't have to plug in anywhere. We are self-sufficient. So I like to cook while I drive. And my favorite form of cooking is my Instant Pot because we can do that in this van. I put together a pot first. <laughs> Today, 
what I have is I don't know why we have a craving for pork bellies and beans and tomato <laughs> I don't normally eat food like this but we have a craving for that today so so that's what I did is I put together a pork pork belly um, navy bean navy white beans bay leaves close the lid off and then plug it in and we're gonna drive and and while we're driving the engine is charging the battery so we can cook and draw heavy duty um, draw like an instapot and not affect our battery usage so by the time we arrive in 20 minutes or 40 minutes which to drive around this lake it takes about 20 to 40 minutes uh, our food is done I didn't use up my batteries and we're ready to go I'm super excited about that so I love my instant pot I cook as much as I can in there and I love cooking while driving it's like talk about optimization two things in one time hot okay that's it for today I was thinking that the next time I'm gonna talk about how you can wake up like this in a van life <laughs> it is an easy hack that I figured out also um, so that we can maintain our good look and not look so shabby because you know it's not like we can shower every day and how do you curl your hair and all that stuff and other fun stuff that I figure out all right I hope you're having a great time and uh, having coming up with amazing ways to hack your life also see you soon bye